So how good can the Lions be? You're hearing about you. Look, you you hear stuff. You're a man of the of the world. You're a veteran in this league. You mm-hmm. know the talk that you know. Well, of course, Aaron Rodgers is coming back. It's the NFC North, right? Right. Why would he leave? Right. And you hear about the Lions and all of that business. So what do you think? How good can um, the Lions be? I'm, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. This is this is what I like about this team. We're scrappy. We're scrappy. We're here. Um, we finished. We finished well last year. We finished really well last year. I'm excited to see what this team brings next year. Um, you know, a lot of us. You know, me uh, personally, you, I, I'm more comfortable around the team. I feel like I can be a little bit more vocal. I know a little. You know, n- okay. know more of the guys, stuff like that. So, uh, for me, I, I feel like we're gonna do well. Um, I don't want to put any expectations on us, anything like that. I know we will do well because uh, you know we have the right guys right core, the right leaders, um, that's going to push this team to go past what we're, you know, what everybody expects us to do. Okay, before I let you go, let's talk about you. You're mm-hmm. 11, that's no joke. Right. You may, I mean, uh, when when you come out uh, of college, mm-hmm. I mean, that's, you know, on average, you're four. And right. like you're, you're closing in on 3X of that, which is impressive. It's crazy. It's a blessing. And uh, I'm just looking at your hat. You got, mm-hmm. what is that? Get, don't get ready, stay ready. Yeah, Brock, this is kind of like my motto, my, my brand, my motto. Kind of, you know, like you said, 10, year 10, going into year 11. Yeah. Um, I can see the light, you know, I can see, <laughs> I can see, see that, that little <laughs> glimmer of light at the end of the tunnel. So, yeah. uh, for me, it's just, you know, kind of setting myself up, um, you know, outside of football, you know, you, once you, once you, you know, this game is over for me, nobody's going to care who I am. So Why would you say I, that? I, I mean, that's kind of usually how it goes. If you're not like a hall of famer that, you know, that your name, that's, you know, everybody knows. You kind of just fall off and just kind of going, you know, off into the well, sunlight. Well, hold on a second now. I, I want to push back on that what, a little bit. What? I mean, I... No, no, I understand that. Right. Uh, just Let's just throw some names out here. Okay. What about Nate Burleson? Does that sound like him? No, but he's... I don't, but he's, he's he, you could say he's an outlier in a way. So yeah. you have that You have that yeah. opportunity for yourself? Yeah. That's what you're yeah. talking about? Set That's yourself what I'm talking up? About. That's what I'm talking about. Excellent. Setting myself up. I definitely want to be, you know, want to be... Uh, you know, seeing, um, I plan on starting my podcast. I'm a little nervous. About what? About just, you know, people wanting to hear what I have to say. I don't, I, I'm, I'm nervous about that for some reason because I feel, you know, I'm little old me. You know, I, I, you know, I think very humbly of myself. Okay. So uh, maybe, you too, know, maybe too much. So maybe too much. My, I mean, my, there's an I yeah. in Michael. <laughs> right. Come on now. True. True. Um, maybe that could be your, the name of your podcast. There's an I and Michael. Mm. See, I'm, I'm about, on. this is RES Consulting, right, TJ? Is it, that's what we got here. Hold on a second. Oh, usually charge man. For, we so usually it, charge for this. You're getting this for free, yeah, RES free Consulting. Stuff. I appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. And plus, it's it's not live. So mm. if you don't like what you say, just start again. Right. Record right. it again. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. <laughs> no, for real. Yeah, you like, keep this it is simple. Real. Yeah. I appreciate that. Keep it that. simple. Seriously. Like, this is live. Like, we mm-hmm. can't go back. Right. Like, that S-bomb you just said moments ago. <laughs> yeah, I didn't back. mean to say it's that. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, kids. No, but I, I got to actually, I'll, I'll be honest. I take that in a way, like, you know, we're having just a regular conversation. But, you felt comfortable mm-hmm. enough to the curse. Well, yeah. you know, but that's, I don't you know, know I if our radio folks take that same approach. No, but, no, but, so, so if that's what you want to do, like, now's the time to start it. You know, it's tough to have you teammates on and mm-hmm. and um you know i think there's a a, a player a media summit that's coming up here mm-hmm. in los angeles in a couple of weeks like yeah that so and if there's anything i could do to help and I'll, i appreciate I'll, I'll, that I, I truly do because this is uh it's a little nerve-wracking when you go off on your own and you kind of sure you, you're separating yourself from from the league it's easy when you know you, you're a football player and everything's come easy but you kind of separate yourself off and brand off on your own. You kind of almost feel like you're on the island a little bit. Okay. But it's all about networking, so I appreciate of you. Of course. Rich, man. Do you Thank want to, you. So you want it like the paparazzi? That's your... No, you not the that? paparazzi. Made more like Nate, you know, be seen. I seen Nate on... Uh, I think I seen him on CNN the other day. Now he's on CBS this morning. CBS yeah, or he, CNN. I was like... Yeah. Okay. He's talking yes, about world sir. events. Now. Yeah, world events. Oh, and yeah. he I looked I looked up to him. I was and, like, yeah, and that's Nate, awesome. And, and Nate would come on NFL Total Access mm-hmm. when I was hosting it back in the day. Uh-huh. And he was on Detroit. Mm-hmm. And um and he would he worked at it. Now look at him. Now look at it. Exactly. There's all, nothing but some practice, man. Some that's practice it. and great okay. people in your corner. Well, uh, I'm I uh, hope to be one of them. And I, I appreciate, appreciate you coming yes, on. Sir. This this opportunity is available to you anytime you want. Yes, sir. Well, Thank you, you. you. I'm right around the corner, so excellent. We'll have you on there, and uh, maybe you'll be our, our like our hard knocks correspondent. Or Come something on, like let that. me let oh, me in. That's let me right. in.
Yeah, we go. You can okay. send us, you know, like behind the scenes videos, Mike. We just DM them to the show. We yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no, we don't need yeah. DMs. Again, hold on a second. Let me, <laughs> let me, let me, let me, let me teach you. Let me, te- let me, let me, hold on. Let me just teach you Talk a little something me. about this business. Talk here. To me. TJ, part of the reason why we would want Michael to do this, mm-hmm. it's not just because we've, you know, enjoy your company as we right. just have over the last 20 minutes, but if it's not DM'd, and you do it, you know, call in or whatever, cameras are following you, then this show winds up on Hard Knocks Ah, mm -hmm. through you. Mm -hmm. So this is us branding through you. Mm -hmm. That's part of the business Mm -hmm. is to come across as seeming like, you know, hey, we're all friends, but it's really about me. Right, yeah. right, so, right. I mean, there's a lot of people that. like this in this business. You get that. You I'm just trying to teach back, you. I scratch your back. This right now is a hard knock lesson right. in media mm-hmm. as we send you out into the right. media world. I appreciate that. Thank so you. No, I need no all the DMs. You don't need DMs. Right. DMs right. don't wind up on HBO. That's a good point. That's a good point. You know what I'm saying? We need to get him some man. swag. Get him a cup. Spell us name. Yeah, you want a mug? Yeah. Hold on a minute. NFL Films. Hold on a second. Get this. Hold on. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Nothing like a cup of Joe in the morning, right? Dan Campbell drinks 80 ounces of coffee a day. Clearly. Right in that mug. Well, he's not the only member of the coaching staff. Good Lord. special cup. Double venti. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.